and then the conversation turned to Rachel North. He was, he said, still convinced she didn't exist. Let me talk about Rachel North being a composite MI5 person, he said. That's exactly the kind of thing the intelligence services would do. But you've met her, I said. Yes, I know I've met her, he said. His voice was rising now, getting faster. She may exist as a human being, but that's not to say there aren't five people behind her posting in her name on the internet. Oh, come on, I said. You should look at the evidence of her copious postings, David said. You should look at the evidence of how many posts she was doing at one point. She was posting a lot, I said. I have no doubt of that. People in the movement have come to the conclusion that there were far too many posts to have come from one person, David said. Oh, you know what bloggers are like, I said. They write and write and write. I don't know why, because they're not being paid. I am also very suspicious of the fact that she refuses to sit down and have a dispassionate briefing about 7-7, David said. Why would she allow somebody to patiently talk her through the evidence? She was in the carriage, I said. She was in the carriage. You really wanted to sit down with someone who was on the internet while she was in the carriage and have them explain to her that there was no bomb. We glared angrily at each other. I had won that round. But then he smiled as if to say that he had something better. It was, his smile said, time to pull out the big guns. When Rachel North came to one of our meetings in the upstairs room of the pub, he said, I thought her behaviour showed signs of, he paused, mental illness. You think Rachel's mentally ill? I said. It was a low blow. It was the degree to which she attacked me, David said. She stood up and came running towards me and shouted at me. There was a madness to this. But that's because she thinks it's nonsense, I interrupted. She won't look at the evidence, interrupted David. I'm getting the same sort of vibe off of you here, John. A viewpoint arrived at without evidence is prejudice. To say Muslims carried out 7-7, seven -seven, as three guys from Leeds and one from Aylesbury, to say they did it is racist, John. It's racist. It's racist. You're being racist to Muslims if you think they carried out that attack on the evidence there. There was a short silence. Oh, fuck off, I said.